Let's learn about the quadratic formula. For example, let's use the quadratic formula to solve this equation for x. And here's the quadratic formula. It states that the solutions to quadratic equations of this form are given by x equal negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. And by the way, this is a direct result of completing the square. And our equation here is of that form where a is equal to 3, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 2. So the quadratic formula tells us that the solutions are given by negative b or negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared or 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is negative 2, all divided by 2 times a, or 2 times 3, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1, and then we have plus 24, because it's minus 4 times 3, which is negative 12, times negative 2, which is positive 24, all divided by 6. And this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 25 divided by 6, or negative 1 plus or minus 5 divided by 6, which means x is equal to negative 1 plus 5 divided by 6, or x is equal to negative 1 minus 5 divided by 6. And what are these two numbers? This is x is equal to negative 1 plus 5 is 4, and 4 6 reduces to 2 thirds. Or x is equal to negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6, and negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1. So these would be our answers. Now if we weren't told to use the quadratic formula here, we wouldn't want to. Because doesn't the left-hand side here just factor? It factors into 3x minus 2 times x plus 1. And therefore, we would get x is equal to two-thirds, or x is equal to negative one. Which are the same answers? But perhaps you didn't see the factorization, so it's always okay to use the quadratic formula. You'll get to the same answers. Let's see another one. Let's use the quadratic formula to solve for y. Again, here's the quadratic formula. So in this case, we have that a is equal to two, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to negative 1. So by this formula, we have x is equal to negative b, which is negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, or 5 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2, and then times c, which is negative 1, all divided by 2 times a, or 2 times 2. And this is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 and then plus 8, all divided by 4, which is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 33 divided by 4. Therefore, our answers are x equal to negative 5 plus the square root of 33, all divided by 4, or x is equal to negative 5 minus the square root of 33 divided by 4. Now, unlike the first example, factoring here would not have helped us. 
However, we could have solved this by completing the square, and we would have arrived at the same answers that the quadratic formula just gave us. And this is how we use this formula. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.